So, um, what if uh, alt history mentioned how uh, what everything, what p- political discourse is uh, essentially joining tribes, whether uh, by actions against an outsider or endearing your, endearing your loyalty to the group? And tying that to uh, birds of a feather flock together. And uh, this is the newest and most vulnerable one. It's the only one colored like this, and it's also timid. Uh, and I think that the mother had uh, had gotten uh, pregnant from an uh, outside male. So I think there's like a dominant male that has like a harem and then his sons and the kids daughters too probably and then they all attack uh, like raptors with like I, I missed a lot of documenting that I should have already made but uh, yeah so he'll order attacks basically now the one that uh, is the brother, that's the sibling. But I think that one is the really violent one, the most aggressive one. But uh, I tried bribing it today and uh, kind of single, singling it out. Like, you know, well, I was shooing away the other pigeons and then picking one out and being like, all right, you know. So when it was, when it came uh, tonight, to land it there and went to go attack him. Just, I told it no. Uh, and then I grabbed the broom. It's the broom. I grabbed the broom. Sort of, you know, show it like. That, you know, he knows I'll chase it off if it attacks. So after a while, I'm me sit in my chair this way so I could, like, just stare and watch. You know. Eventually, the gig's just like, all right, he just fucking gave up, which is good. This is good. So it didn't attack us, you know. I prevented it from attacking, which might set a precedent. And uh, it's cool that they're actually uh, not messing with with the bird right now. Like last time, the mother came down, and then this little red one only comes down, it's super shy. Like I feel a lot for it. Uh, but the uh, the maiden male came down. The I suppose alpha alpha male of the group landed like right there. And then these two just flew flew right back up. Uh, but I'm glad you know it's it's getting the food it needs. And people think, oh well, they're, they're flying now. They're fine. Like, but no, it actually like still. Uh, they still need looking out after. You know, because like. The reason why it's eating is because it's coming out this time of night. And then I prevented interference enough times. Plus they have uh, another way that they'll attack is by just eating all the food around. Like they'll start eating all the food around that one. And so so it's not able to pick up any food. And, uh, you know, so I've gotten more so instead of having to chase him off, I can just sort of, like, put my finger out and tell him him a word. And they'll stop doing that, and they'll start acting more pro-socially. Yeah, I just feel a lot like that pigeon in a lot of ways as far as my uh, life journey and whatnot. And I'm always worried about it. So, like, if I don't see it, I'm like, I don't know. We got attacked somewhere out where I can't get to it. I think their tail bobbing behavior is like a fuck you kind of thing. Because I see a lot of them do that, like, when they're, like, it's like antagonistic, like, 
but you know that one's not reacting. Seems like uh, all is quiet on the uh, window sill. Yeah, I'm watching the what if all oh, hits there hits rethink a second time, probably a third time before I comment. Maybe I want to watch it three times and then comment. Everything's like fleeting time, man, and I never make things on the right time. Uh, or at least just being massively overwhelmed. Uh, I'm in a really fucked position. Uh, really, really fucked position as far as political discourse uh, oh another thing, interesting thing that happened is the mom I think uh, well was very insistent of, uh, towards another pigeon that they be the be your mate and she's like doing the mounting and stuff so I almost think it's like another female and well, uh, because it's a survival imperative, because it was just the mom and then these two versus like a whole bunch, like five, six, seven others. So by her, uh, you know, bringing another female in and her playing the role, the dominant role, that puts them up another pigeon defense. And uh, this is a big help. And it would also have uh, another sort of benefit of, you know, like not bringing in too many more uh, birds that the population can't support or bringing in more rivalry. But these two exist and she does very much care for these two. I'm not sure how they're going to interact. No, yeah, it's not the mom, it's a different one. But I'm kind of just, you know, yeah, it's just a, it's a different one. And so normally they would they would try to like eat all the food around her, but at that time, you know, and this one tries to make friends sometimes. But I figure if they're getting practice and being peaceful, that's good. I gotta watch the movements. I'm so tired and I'm wired too. I need to upload this immediately so it doesn't end up in the freaking abyss of uh, unpublished. Watching the subtle body language is very informative. 